students uh, will solve some more problems under formation of y bus using singular transformation method of model 1 or psa 2 so this is asked in v2 december 19 question paper uh, it is asked for 6 marks this is a network given how this network is different from other problems here we have a susceptance along with the admittance, other admittance values we have a susceptance here okay that is capacitive susceptance okay so uh, the value of admit uh, the unit of admittance it is more okay here capacitor is connected the unit of this is also more okay unit of susceptance is also more but it is grounded uh, here the directions of elements are given and the element number is also given when this is given it is easy to draw the uh, oriented graph okay oriented graph what you have to do is first you have to mention all the nodes okay, this is the first node okay this is the second node this is third node okay here capacitor is uh, grounded right so ground ground can be taken as zeroth node okay here element numbers are given okay towards zero this is from one to two this is third element from two to three fourth element from three to one okay I'll draw the oriented graph as it is then we have to form the element node incidence matrix so element versus node Okay, here the column has elements and uh, row has nodes. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 elements, 0, 1, 2, 3 nodes. So, here first element which is oriented to 1 and 0 but away from 1, so take it as positive, uh, towards 0, so minus 1. Minus 1, 1, 0, 0. Similarly, second element between 1 and 2, okay, away from 1, so 1. 2 is 2, so minus 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 0. Third element, third element between so 2 and 3, okay, 2 and 3, away from 2 and 2 is 3, 0, 0, 1, minus 1. Fourth element, it is between 1 and 3, 1 and 3, away from 3, 2 is 1, okay, 2 is 1. So, 0, minus 1, 0, 1. So, we are going to obtain matrix A or bus incidence matrix from element node incidence by deleting the column corresponding to the reference node this is the reference node so after this we get matrix 1 0 0 1 minus 1 0 0 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 1 this is the matrix we get then matrix y we can directly obtain uh, so the, since it is a uh, since it is a uh, self admittance matrix okay self no mutual coupling okay no mutual coupling so self admittance are there so it is a diagonal matrix so first element has value of minus j 0.2 y11 is minus j 0.2 okay so second uh, element value j 0 0.05 0, 0. Third element value which is J.04. Fourth element value it is J.02. Okay, so this is the matrix Y. This is primitive admittance matrix. This is also called primitive admittance matrix. So next Y bus we have to form. Um, the y bus is equal to a transpose y a so a transpose okay we got the answer a transpose is equal to 0 0 sorry 0 minus 1 okay we will write uh, a first okay 0 0 minus 1 Mm, sorry 1 0 0 1 minus 1 0 0 1 minus 1 
माइनस वन जीरो वन ओके ए ट्रांसपोज इट वुड बी वन प्लस वन जीरो माइनस वन जीरो माइनस वन वन जीरो 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 माइनस वन वन मैट्रिक्स वाई विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस जे पॉइंट टू जीरो 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 जे पॉइंट जीरो फाइव जीरो 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 जे पॉइंट जीरो फोर जीरो 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 जे जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू सो ऑन मल्टीप्लाइंग वी गेट वी गेट दिस इज माइनस जे फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इट वुड बी माइनस जे पॉइंट टू सेकेंड एलिमेंट इट वुड बी जे पॉइंट जीरो फाइव थर्ड एलिमेंट इट वुड बी जीरो फोर्थ एलिमेंट इट वुड बी माइनस जे जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू ओके सेकेंड रू एंड फर्स्ट कॉलम नाउ वी गेट फर्स्ट एलिमेंट जीरो सेकेंड रो सेकेंड कॉलम माइनस जे जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव सेकेंड रो थर्ड कॉलम जे जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर सेकेंड रो फोर्थ कॉलम जीरो ओके थर्ड रो फर्स्ट कॉलम जीरो थर्ड रो सेकेंड कॉलम जीरो थर्ड रो थर्ड कॉलम माइनस जे पॉइंट फोर ओके एंड थर्ड रो फोर्थ कॉलम इट इज J point zero two, okay, and matrix A write as it is zero one minus one minus one zero one, okay. On multiplying first row and first column, here it is minus J point two plus J point zero five minus into minus plus plus J point Zero two, so it becomes minus j point one three. Okay, first row, second column. Okay, it becomes minus j zero point zero five. Okay. Next, first row, third column. It becomes minus j zero point zero two. Second row, first column. Second row, first column. It becomes minus j zero point zero five. Second row, second column. Zero point zero five plus j zero point zero four. This zero point zero nine. J zero point zero nine. Okay. And uh, second row with third column, we get minus j zero point zero four. Third row, first column. It would be minus j point zero two when we multiply third row elements with second row elements. It would be minus j point zero four when we multiply and uh, and add the third row with third column elements. We get zero point zero four plus j zero point zero two. Okay, we get zero point. Zero six. This is the matrix Y bar. The next problem, which is also asked in VT question paper, for the power system shown in the figure, obtain Y bar using singular transformation method. Okay, so this is the uh, given network. Here. Instead of connecting uh, capacitive susceptance below, uh, it's here connected upside. Okay, so again it's grounded. So here uh, directions are not mentioned. Okay, when uh, directions are not mentioned, then you have to assume the direction of the element, and also element number you have to assume. Just to draw the first procedure is to draw the uh, oriented graph. Okay, first denote the nodes. So one, two, three, three nodes are there. So we, here it is grounded. So zeroth node you take. So here I have taken. This is the first element. Okay, this is the second element. This is the third element. This is the fourth element. Okay, first what we have to do? First to draw the oriented graph. 
how to draw the oriented graph first denote the nodes and then from 1 to 3 there is a connection just mark it and 1 to 2 there is a connection just mark it 2 to 3 there is a connection mark it draw the line and 1 to 0 from 1 to ground there is a connection okay draw the line afterwards you have to name the elements 1 2 3 4 I have named like this and uh, you have to assume the direction you can take a uh, left side or right side upside or downside you uh, finally you are going to get the same answer but uh, matrix z and y changes according to the element number okay and uh, here uh, first element okay i have uh, taken uh, element direction which is away from the reference node okay left uh, it which is left side which is going to node 1 second uh, element uh, towards 2 third element towards 3 fourth element towards 3 i have taken so uh, from this graph i can obtain element node incidence matrix a cap or if i remove column corresponding to the reference node then i'll be left with uh, remaining nodes okay column corresponding to the reference node i'm going to delete now first element which is connected between 1 and 0 okay away from 0 uh, towards 1 so minus 1 0 0 it is not oriented to 2 not oriented to 3 similarly second element which is between 1 and 2 okay away from 2 towards 2 and 1 0 minus 1 because third element between 1 and 3 leaving 1 and towards 3 fourth element which is between 2 and 3 okay 0 1 minus 1 okay this is the bus incidence matrix when we delete column corresponding to the reference node directly we get okay the matrix z we have to write so there is no mutual coupling so we can directly write the matrix like this the first element value so we can get the primitive admittance so primitive impedance uh, matrix from this we can obtain the primitive admittance matrix j minus j point to the value of impedance it is minus j point to 0 0 0 second element second element which is between 1 and 2 1 and 2 minus plus j 0 point 0 5 okay third element which is between 1 and 3 1 and 3 j 0 point 0 2 fourth element which is between 2 and 3 2 and 3 so it, it has to be j 0 point 0 4 okay so when we convert z to y just take the reciprocal of diagonal elements okay so it becomes j 5 0 0 0 0 minus j 20 0 0 0 0 minus j 50 0 0 0 0 minus j 25 this is the matrix we get and y bus y bus is equal to a transpose y matrix y into a so a transpose when we take transpose of this transpose of this we get minus 1 1 1 0 0 minus 1 0 1 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 okay and matrix y 5 j 5 0 0 0 0 minus 20 j 0 0 0 0 minus j 50 0 0 0 0 minus j 25 okay matrix a minus 1 0 0 1 minus 1 0 
1 0 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 okay when we multiply first row and first column we get minus j5 first row second column minus j20 first row third column minus j50 first row fourth column 0 second row first column 0 second row second column plus j20 second row third column 0 second row fourth column minus j25 third row first column 0 third row second column 0 third row third column plus j50 third row fourth column plus j25 okay so this one you write as it is matrix a minus 1 0 1 0 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 okay when we multiply first row with the first column va uh, values elements we get plus j5 minus j20 plus minus j50 so minus 70 plus minus uh, plus j5 so it would be minus 65 j first row second column it becomes plus j20 first row third column it becomes j50 plus j50 second row first column it becomes j20 second row second column it becomes minus j20 minus j25 it becomes minus j45 okay and this is j25 third row first column it becomes j50 third row second column it becomes j25 okay third row third column it becomes minus j50 plus minus j25 it is minus j75 this is the y bus okay